I'm here to talk to you about Portland Cider Company. I went to their like tap room distillery place, got myself a growler, I also got crap tons of other things, such as a holiday kit where I got free glasses, and I got bottled cider. Uh, the sampling today will be of their Sorta Sweet, which is available in stores. But first, let me tell you about why I got a growler and what I got it in. So while I was at the tap room, they had uh, things that you can't buy in stores, obviously. So they had uh, this interesting pine, or the, uh, what's that called? Juniper berry. They had a juniper cider, which was interesting. They had a pear ginger. Definitely not on my taste palette. I was not a fan of the pear ginger. Um, I got a growler of their cranberry seasonal, uh, and it was amazing. And I streamed and drank over half this bottle during stream and did not get a headache or a hangover. So let me tell you, that was some good shit. Um, I also bought a growler of their Sangria Cider, which is delicious as well. They make a lot of other uh, styles. They have a, um, a cider that you that's all local apples, like people from the community donate apples, so they made a batch that way, and donations go towards that community, which I think is super awesome. Um, as usual, all cider is naturally gluten-free, unless it says it's an ale. Today's uh, Sorta Sweet is 4.5%, so it is very low on the alcohol sale in comparison to two towns, but it's about the average, I would say. The Swedish ciders are going to have lower alcohol contents, and the drier ciders tend to have higher alcohol contents. Blended in the spirit of classic American cider, with high residual sugars and tart apple notes. Absolutely delicious and dangerously easy to drink. Completely true. English traditions with Northwest ingredients. Our cider is made with 100% Northwest apples. We don't use artificial flavors or concentrates. Always gluten free. I love Portland Cider Company. I love hanging out at their tap room. Uh, I went to their grand opening location that is in Clackamas because it's near where my mom lives. So that was super awesome. I went with a couple friends. We got to try. Uh, in the springtime, it was a cherry blossom cider, and they individ like they hand picked the cherry blossoms. It was so delicious. Uh, so they're sort of sweet. It's definitely for those who like sweet apples. I'm gonna let you know that right now. You have to like sweet cider. I haven't had this in so long. It makes me so happy. It's super good. It's really easy to drink. It kind of fills your mouth up with that apple-y flavor. You don't really feel like you're drinking too much alcohol. It's kind of like fizzy apples. Like a Martinelli's. It feels like you're drinking a Martinelli's, but you're not. It's super delish. Delish. Um, if you are able to go to their tap house, I highly recommend it. Try all the different flavors. I would recommend that for any place at the subbrewery, essentially. Try all the local stuff that they are selling. Um, this is what their old label kind of looked like on all of their stuff. And now they have these cool new labels. I will also be giving you a passion fruit sampling later next week. Um, and I hope you find them in stores. Uh, in the Seattle area, it's a lot harder to find Portland Cider Company than it is in Portland. Portland, you can find them easily at Albertson Safeway. Uh, maybe at Fred Meyers, too. I think I've seen them at Fred Meyers. I've seen them at QFC up here in Seattle. QFC is really the only place here in Seattle that I find Portland Ciders. Um, so, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy the cider. I hope, I encourage you to go out to your breweries and get local ciders or beers, get growlers, share your growlers with your friends. 
Um, you can always reuse your growler. You can bring them into any place you go to. Um, and I'll see you next week.